Whoa, that's not Lubu, that's Nate. I'm Lubu. This is cooking with Lubu. Super Bowl World Championship Season 2 Finals Edition. Uh, we've been watching it for the last two days. Big ups to M5 coming through. I rep M5. I'm not a big TSM fan. Whatever. Big ups to M5. Uh, what I'm going to show you today is what I call Caitlin's Yordle Traps. And the Yordle Traps are kind of like sliders, fried chicken sliders. You can do them with burgers too. Uh, but they're great party food. Uh, you can make a whole stack of them real easy. They cook up fast, cook up good. Uh, make them, they're great for a party. They're great for like a season two championship on the 13th. M5 is going to win a kind of party. Uh, so that's what I want to show you all today. I got a couple different variations, three different variations. One of those trips. Uh, that's curry, uh, ranch, on the board, the jalapeno. The jalapeno is good. Uh, I like them all. So what I got here is some, uh, these are some uh, pre-cooked uh, fried chicken patties. You can get these at, you know, Sam's Club or Walmart, if that's closer, or Piggly Wiggly. I don't know what the fuck you live next to. Uh, but any major grocery store, you go to the freezer section, you can get some of these. I use them because they're super easy uh, and they don't take any time at all to cook. And they're not that bad. I mean, you know, compromise. Uh, I'll go through my ingredients here real quick. I got my ranch dressing bottle. I got my honey barbecue, as per label. Sriracha hot chili sauce, the sexiest uh, cock sauce. I got some curry powder. This is organic curry powder. I like that. Uh, some diced jalapeno peppers. Uh, some bacon. And then I got my toasted bread. Uh, Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese. Provolone cheese. And some cheddar cheese. Shredded cheddar. Uh, you can use whatever kind of cheddar. Uh, as always, Cooking with Blue Boo is brought to you by Chicken and a Biscuit. If you don't like chicken and a biscuit, you probably think Hitler was an okay guy. And that's messed up, man. That's messed up. So, so, chicken's done. You can heat these up in the oven. You can probably heat them up in the microwave. I don't have microwave instructions. I wouldn't use that. I use the oven. Get a little bit better. Give me some tongs. Tongs. And we're just going to throw these on the bread. Boom. Boom. Got my bread. I'm gonna put these actually back on the sheet because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna melt the cheese over in the oven. Get a nice cook on them. So I got some sriracha. Boom. Right there. A little sriracha. A little Swiss. The reason we use Swiss with the sriracha is because the uh, sharpness of the Swiss actually counters the hot sauce really well. A little bit of curry powder. And that just brings out so much great smell and flavor. Man, I mean, I wish you could smell this right now. I love. Love, love, love the smell of the curry powder. So, next one we'll do the jalapeno. I got some diced jalapenos. So take some diced jalapenos on there. Nice big chunk there. Get that on there. Love that. And jalapenos are nice. Uh, when you get them diced like this in the can, the jar, whatever, they're not uh, super, super, super spicy. Uh, but they do add a little bit of heat and a little bit of sweetness that's just fantastic. Uh, you can't go wrong with that. And on that one, yeah, on that one, we're going to do cheddar cheese. A little bit of cheddar here. Cheddar makes it better. Boom, cheddar cheese. Top that off. We're going to do a little honey barbecue sauce. The honey barbecue, spicy sweet jalapenos, cheddar cheese. Can't go wrong, man. It's delicious. Last one, we're going to do a little bit of ranch. Not too much ranch. Ranch is strong, so you don't need a whole lot of that. Unless you just really fucking love ranch dressing. I like it, but I'm already fat. I'm gonna get fat. We got bacon and bacon bits. This is uh, some ground up bacon. Just, you know, just like your normal bacon, just ground up. And on that one, we're gonna put some provolone. Provolone, if you don't know it, is what your cheese, uh, your string cheese is made of. When you eat string cheese as a child, you never know, it's provolone. So, it's delicious. We're gonna take these three bad boys, we're gonna put them in there. We're gonna heat them up for a little bit. Uh, I don't know, what are we gonna talk about? ARAM! If you play ARAM, don't, don't dodge. It's ARAM. All random, all mid. All random, all mid. Don't dodge. You're an ass. You make the game last forever. There's no reason to do that. It's a jerk move. 
you're playing all random to get better at a random champion with a random team comp. If it's un if it's a one-sided game, guess what? It's a one-sided game. You, you, you learn through struggling, through adversity. You don't learn just by, oh, look, we got Nidalee and Heimerdinger. It's going to be a face roll. Wee! What's going on that? You don't learn nothing, man. So that's my rant on that. Uh, boom, we come out. Hot, melty, cheesy, jalapeno-y, whatever. Cools. So we take that top. Boom, one, two. And I'm using toasted buttered bread because I like it. You could use, you know, hamburger bun. You can get like Brochen, which is like a German style hard roll, and do like a, uh, you know, Brauer's mustard, yellow mustard, something like that, yeah, yeah, anything. Uh, so there's nothing but options here. And you know, Yordles love these things. Easy to catch, you bait a trap, put that bad boy in there. You got Teemo, headshot, boom, no more Teemo. Delete Teemo. And that's it. So real easy, real simple. Uh, good luck to M5 in the tournament, because they're going to win. Uh, Sucks to be UTSM. Try harder next time. And that's it. Have a good night.